The UK is currently experiencing an energy crisis which is really contributing to its current cost of living crisis too. The increase that we're seeing now in energy prices is really driven by a rise in the wholesale price of gas and energy. And this is an external shock. Initially it was due to excess demand coming out of the pandemic. We then saw Russia's invasion of Ukraine followed by restrictions of supply into Europe. So this massive shock to prices is now being passed through to consumers and businesses. So what we're seeing now is this rise in bills. Government stepped in to curb that slightly. Um, so now we know that the average household will see their bills over the winter being around £2,500. Um, this is an increase still, a substantial increase on last winter, which was just over £1,000. What we've seen therefore is that the energy price crisis is really driven by the price of fossil fuels. Um, if anything, this strengthens the urgency of us moving forwards towards net zero greenhouse gas emissions, which we have a legal commitment to, to reduce our emissions to net zero by 2050. It turns out that a lot of the things we could be doing to increase our resilience to this kind of crisis are also completely in line with meeting net zero. For example, improving the energy efficiency of homes. This is an area where policy has really stalled since 2013. We're just insulating far fewer homes than we used to. We need to step this up to build resilience next year and in the years that follow and reduce those greenhouse gas emissions and actually improve the affordability of energy in our homes. There are zero carbon solutions such as solar panels on our roofs, electric vehicles, heat pumps to heat our homes. We overwhelmingly rely on gas boilers in this country, which is part of the reason we've been so vulnerable to this crisis. And then of course, switching to renewable energy. We've seen that the cost of renewable energy have been falling dramatically. There are steep learning curves. As we've deployed more and more, the costs have been coming down. We need to roll out more of that renewable energy infrastructure in the UK to make sure that our energy system as a whole can be more resilient and we can enhance our energy security in the future. Given that we are an innovative country with various specialisms relevant for the net zero transition, there could also be growth opportunities from us developing those new technologies and products to serve global demand that is likely to be growing in these coming years.